when you work in, uh, in the UK, you know, you have to be professionally uh, engaged. That's how it is over there. Not that you don't have amateur theatre, you have all that, but if you're going to be on television and everything, it presupposes that you are a professional actor. So if you are then a professional actor, you are in a register. A con it's called, the book is called Contact. If you're a producer, you go to that, you need a, an actor. Or you've seen an actor and you have a production, say, I like, I'm going to use that actor. You contact the agents. So that's how my agents were contacted. Say, this program is on. And uh, that spot, that guest spot with, you know, the, uh, what's his name, Mark Crawford and uh, Michelle Dutrys, they are the standard characters there, but major actors come in and interact with them in each episode. And they just contacted my agents that they'd like for me to be in that episode. And it turned out to be, I think, the best episode. It was the most successful episode. It won the Montreux Film Festival Award. It's shown on cruises and planes all over. That my episode. It's shown Papua New Guinea. I know because I get residual. So when they play, when they show them this, that, and the other, they show that, and I get a percentage of my salary to till today. The universe is in charge. We don't know anything about anything. We don't know how our life uh, evolves. But there's something that I do know. You have to be in the right place at the right time. Taking the right opportunities. Being, being able to be given the right opportunities. So you have to be there at the right time. You have to be doing the right things. You have to be doing what you have to do. You don't sit around and waiting for fame and fortune to come to you, no. In fact, you are rewarded with fame and fortune, depending on how much commitment you give to what you're doing. That's why whatever angst we're having, we've got to forget them and concentrate on what we're doing. Because that's the message. That's the message you've been given. That's the purpose for which you, are, you put in the world, to impact the world, to give that message. If you're incapacitated by not being able to give that message, you sell yourself short. Because once you then concentrate on that message, all the way with all you need to do the universe's work will be given to you. You don't have to know how it happens. I don't know how my life happened, but it happened. And look at all the things. All the things that have happened to me are magical, including the bad things. That's why when bad things happen to me, I'm not overly excited about them. It's life. I mean, the most, the, 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 the most revered man on earth, well, we're told, was Jesus Christ. How, how good was, how did, that, how did life happen with him? People still betrayed him. They vilified him, stoned him pricked him with spear, crucified him. So what's, the, what's the big deal about what you're doing that something bad happens to you? Keep to the message. But he kept giving the message, kept to the message. And the message lived after him. All the people running around is coming again, forget that. He never went anywhere. His message subsists. It will last forever. There'll be people who tune into it and say, yeah, that message resonates with me. It will always resonate because what he's saying, love your neighbor as yourself. Do good. You know, love, love your enemies because if you only love the people who love you, what profit is that? Somebody slap you on this cheek, says, turn the other one. Says, don't be a thug. You know, be the change you want in the world. You're looking for a good man. You be that good man. That's what he's telling us. Think about other people. It's not about you. That's my interpretation of all these things. It wasn't about him. It was about all of us. That's what Christians tell you. 
it's never been about one person, it's about a principle, it's about a collective.